And it's raining today, although it is only spitting in certain areas. Not sure if it will stop though. And what was going on today? I guess first things first, I got an email from DJI. Apparently they shipped out, I guess, the drone. And in looking at this, I was wondering, did they give a new one? Did they just fix the old one, for example? Because I was testing this whole refresh care process and all that. So in looking at the email that they sent, the serial number is actually completely different than the one I had with my drone. So the assumption is it's a different drone. Now, is it a new one? That I'm not sure because on their terms of service, they actually say it's either new or one that quote performs as new, so to speak. So it could be actually a refurbished unit. And the other thing too is they indicate they sent the remote controller as well because they told me to send that back. I don't really know what the issue was in terms of the drone not wanting to move forward when the gimbal was pointed straight down. It's been there since day one. And based on that serial number, that controller is the exact same one they're sending back to me. So who knows because just based on all that report, it didn't seem like they actually thoroughly tested it at all. Wouldn't that be something if the issue actually was the controller and they're just sending me the old controller back again? It makes me wonder if there's one of those situations where they looked at it and like, what? This thing has 400 plus flights on it? I'm not going to bother looking at all that flight data and stuff like that. But I'm actually genuinely curious what caused, I guess, things like that gimbal to be stuck in, whether or not I'll see the same issue, actually. Because it wasn't because of things like a crash, for example, as it was like that since the first day, which I assumed would be something like a firmware issue or something like that, but it didn't seem like to be the case. Funny thought about that drone too, I actually left all the stickers on it when you first buy it, so it looks brand new in that sense when I sent it back. So let's see how that goes. And I guess with drones, there was more news about Alphabet Wings drone delivery. This one here says, Girl Scout cookies take flight in Virginia drone deliveries. Missing out on the thin mints in the pandemic, a Google affiliate is using drones to deliver Girl Scout cookies to people's doorsteps in Virginia community. The town of Christiansburg has been a testing ground for commercial delivery drones operated by Wing, a subsidiary of Google's corporate parent Alphabet. Now, the company is adding the iconic box cookies to the more mundane drugstore offerings and locally made pastries. Tacos, cold brew coffees, it's been hauling to a thinly populated area of residential subdivisions since 2019. So they're trying to deliver, I guess, everything in terms of what people would normally buy at stores and all that. It'll still be interesting to see how the general public reacts just because there's so much fear mongering of our recreational flyer in general and based on some of the comments there doesn't seem to be much difference like this person saying I look forward to hurling nets on these drones. So there's still that mentality as I mentioned you see a drone some people they still think they can just knock it down in whatever way possible where in reality in many places like the US it's actually considered an aircraft so you can't do that. And when that thought of people, I guess, fearing toy drones and all that, actually treating them like a huge man aircraft, where in many cases, I think that's not the way to go. This, I was actually wondering the other day, wow, that's some really loud planes in the air. I didn't go out to check or anything like that, but according to this news here, it says, CF-18 Hornets, wow, onlookers in Vancouver during NORAD training. As to what they were doing, it says the forces said the fighter jets completed airborne testing of radios over Vancouver to support the Canadian air defense sector and that the training activities ensure the region is prepared to respond to threats and emergencies. So it's okay for these huge fighter jets to fly over all these, I guess, residential areas and all that, and that's perfectly okay. But then when it comes to a toy drone, literally, heck no, too dangerous in every single way. Out, buddy.
guess they recognize me by voice now too. No flying today. I guess it's time for the archive. See you guys later.